Hello everyone, Elise Buckley Weber, Mayor of City Agora Hills with you again. Wanted to bring you some new updates on COVID-19. As of this address, there are 18 confirmed cases in Agora Hills, which includes Westlake Village in LA County. If you've been afflicted with COVID-19, please know that our thoughts are with you. And if there's anything you need from the city, please be in touch with us. I probably sound like a broken record, but that number 18 only means we stay the course. Stay home, stay six feet away from others, wash your hands routinely with soap. The director of the LA County Department of Public Health urges all of us to make an extra effort this week to stay home. Obviously, if you need food or medication or any essential services, you should go out and get them. But what we're asking you now is to bundle those errands. Don't go to the supermarket every other day. Try and buy for several days. And if you're going to the supermarket, Go to the pharmacy and get your medication and go fill up your car with gas so you can do all of those things in one day, get back home and stay home. That's the key, stay home. The, these next two weeks are critical to flattening the curve. So keep in mind, when you see empty streets, what you are seeing really is a community that cares about others and a community that wants to save lives. Dorset Campbell Ross said, Quote, it isn't the end of the world. It's the most remarkable act of global solidarity we may ever witness. So here's a few things that you need to know. Testing. It's the county's goal this week to test over 10,000 county residents per day at drive up locations throughout the county. As of this address, the closest, closest drive up location is Northridge Hospital you must have an appointment for a test. To determine whether you are eligible for a test and to book an appointment, go to the county's website, covid19.lacounty.gov slash testing. That's covid19.lacounty.gov slash testing. They anticipate having results in three to four days. You will receive positive results by telephone and negative results by email. So be sure to provide your most up-to-date contact information. We also want you to be prepared for the bad news. If LA County is testing over 10,000 people a day, you know the numbers of confirmed cases will go up. We know that, the County Public, Department of Public Health knows that, and we're ready for that. Stay calm though, because we will get through this together. Face coverings, as of today, it is not mandated that you wear a face covering when in public, but it is strongly encouraged. Keep in mind that face coverings carry germs, so don't take it off and put it on your countertop. You do need to wash them. There are many YouTube videos showing how to make face coverings without needing to sew anything. I posted a very simple one on my Facebook page. If you go onto Facebook and Google Elise Buckley Weber City Council Member, you'll see a short YouTube video on there where they use a bandana and ponytail scrunchies to make a face mask. Face mask. Property tax. Property tax is still required to be paid by April 10th. However, starting on April 11th, you can file an application to determine if you are eligible to have the late fee waived. For more information, go to ttclacounty.gov. That's ttclacounty.gov. Now all of you are the eyes and the ears of our city. I appreciate the emails you've been sending and the questions because they, they inform me of what you need to know or what you need clarifying. So here's a couple of examples. First of all, our city staff is working from home. They're continuing to carry out the direction of your city council. So if you receive a call or an email from a staff member that's non-COVID-19 related, please understand that they are doing their jobs. We have an excellent hardworking staff and we need them to continue with their non-COVID-19 work. Restaurants. 
Some of you were concerned with the restaurant that restaurants weren't complying with the distance six foot distancing rules. So we came up with a set of guidelines following the county's orders for takeout and delivery at our local restaurants. Guidelines are on the city's website. We know they appreciate your business during this difficult time and their sole goal is to keep you healthy and well fed. They need our continued patience to navigate through this terribly difficult time. Thank you for supporting them. If you do visit them or you get a particularly interesting looking meal, please post a picture on hashtag Agora Hills Together. Again, that's a hashtag Agora Hills Together. Religious gatherings. Public gatherings are banned by the county's public health order. The month of April this year hosts some very important holidays for Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, just to name a few. These next few weeks are going to be particularly difficult for all of us. We all want to be with our families, our friends, and our spiritual communities, but I beg you to refrain from doing so. Even if the gathering or the host or the religious leader is telling you that they can practice physical distancing. Several religious leaders worldwide, including some of our local places of worship, are having virtual services. Please go to their websites or just Google the service that you're looking for. Lead by example for your children, your friends, and your community by staying home and saving lives. Your actions can be a true inspiration. City parks. Thanks to your extraordinary cooperation, our city parks remain open. Playgrounds and restrooms are closed, but our green areas remain open. Keep in mind that parks still have the same opening and closing times. They are open from dawn to dusk. And for everyone's safety, please don't be in our parks at night. I have been in touch with California State Parks, National Parks, Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy, and MRCA, all of whom had positive reports about people staying off trails and beaches last weekend. We are truly all in this together. So please continue washing your hands, staying home, and physically distancing. Please continue wearing gloves and face masks, protecting yourselves and those around you. These next two weeks, again, are critical and will make a difference, so hang in there with us. I speak for the entire City Council when I thank those who are putting their lives on the line to provide essential services for the rest of us. And the Council also thanks you for doing your part to save lives and flatten the curve. Please continue to reach out to us with questions and comments. We are here for you and we want to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Have a peaceful and meaningful spring holiday season.